Kern Studios is the world's largest parade and float building company. We're on our fourth generation now. It's a family business and we make Mardi Gras. We're in a, in a business that is artists and sculptors and craftsmen and people, and people that are working with their hands. And so you take a lot of pride in that process. What we're trying to do now is bring this automation in terms of the way we build things and the processes and kind of let it help us get a little bit further, a little bit faster. About a year ago, I got a, a web lead that came in from Kern Studios, and right away I knew it was a good fit for robotic solutions. They, they, uh, they are an expert in taking our robots into a milling environment. We call them kind of the software wizards, if you will. So they're software wizards, but they're really good at robot integrations. Part of the package for Kern was we sold a full CAD CAM package. It does tool pathing, so you bring in a 3D model whether they create that from scratch or from a 3D scan thing that you see on the screen, it does in real life. So you know ahead of time when you do a program that could take hours or days even, that the program's gonna do exactly what you saw. There's a lot of pride that the artist takes in the process, but what you're seeing now is a lot of things are being created digitally, they're being created on computers, 3D models are being made, and basically this is just an integration, this is just the next step, because really the KUKA is basically, you know, it acts very much like a real sculptor does, right? And other methods that aren't as um, sophisticated, where you've got not as many axes, the KUKA arm can actually create and can sculpt much the same as what, you know, a sculptor does. It challenges me as a craftsman, as an artist, to make sure that I'm toolpathing correctly, that the robot is producing exactly what I would be producing if I was making it by hand. And really with the accuracy that the robot operates, it challenges me to even take it a step further than anything I've ever done by hand. The robot itself is amazing and really capable, but it was really important for us to have the robot mounted on the rail. We can have multiple jobs set up at the same time and have the robot go from piece to piece to piece. And incorporated with the rail, we also have the rotary table to where we can have that robot just sit in a point and that rotary will spin around kind of like a rotisserie and just carve the thing out as it goes and really gives us that beautiful fully three-dimensional sculpture. We're known for the Mardi Gras business, but one of the portions of our business that has been growing is outdoor advertising. And with this new KUKA arm, it will help us increase our production. And so the faster that we can get something through the production line, the faster it gets out to market and then it allows us to get in that, that the next job in. So when we're building for brands and we're talking companies like a, a Universal or a Disney or Chick-fil-A for that matter, all of these brands have certain images. We can now create 3D models. Once that model gets fed into the KUKA, to the KUKA arm, then you know that what we're putting out is exactly what they saw and what they approved. We named the robot Pixie. Uh, Pixie is actually somebody that my grandmother knew and it was through Pixie that I got my job here. She was really a woman who could do anything, and we're working on getting this Pixie to the same production level that uh, the Pixie that we miss so much was at. I love what I do. I mean, how many people get to say that they just make giant, cool things? The most rewarding thing is, you know, during Mardi Gras, when I'm operating these parades, and you see all the kids and the families out on the street, they're like, ooh, mom, look at that thing coming down the street, and really get excited about it. You just can't help but feel really good, and, and that's what keeps us going year in and year out. Orange Intelligence.